If you've been wondering, it will all make sense very soon. So welcome back to the Chammy, the only Chammy where you can get a professional tarot card reading right here from the graveyard, a <laughs> professional graveyard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the energy today for you, see what's going on in your vortex and what you need to know about that right now. But I think that pretty soon here, it's going to make some sense if you've been wondering what's been going on. I felt called to do this reading and let you guys in on what's going on in regards to uh, anybody who might be feeling a little bit lost about, you know, you know how life can get. Um, it's like, why am I going through this? What is happening? What is next? Well, it's all going to make sense soon. Um, a lot of the work I can see in the cards that you've been putting um, out is about to come back to you in a very fortunate way. Um, you're going to see a lot more understanding and loving, cu loving cups coming into your life in regards to your romance. Um, you're going to see the growth you've done as well as your partner. Um, and this is also a timeless tarot reading. So what that means in regards to a timeless tarot reading, that means that this is good for whenever you find it. It could be um, today, but you might not find it for a year, but it's still going to be good for that time because why spirit called you to find it randomly here, right here on YouTube. Um, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more into this reading. We've got a page of pentacles and eight of pentacles and a king of cups. Spirit, what's the energy behind that right now? What's the energy behind this? I feel like the page of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is showing how you've gone from zero to 10 in 2.5 seconds. And you're just trying to understand, you know, how, how is all this coming together? How, you know, in regards to what I'm manifesting is it's coming together. But what spirit needs you to know, it comes together through staying ambitious about what you want, what you believe in, understanding about what you want and what you believe in as well in that King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles is all about, you know, looking at that which you have created, that which feels like, wow, look at that. Look at that beautiful, you know, life I created. Look at that uh, beautiful meal I created. I'm so grateful that I've got, you know, the talent and the perseverance to be resilient to put that beautiful meal on the table for my loved ones or you know you could equate the meal to anything okay your love life what you're feeding yourself in regards to your spiritual journey what you're feeding yourself in regards to your thoughts and feelings throughout the day wow I've come through the whole day you know being delicate with my thoughts and feelings and sensitive towards myself putting my feelings and emotions first and look I can celebrate with a piece of birthday cake you know, because I've been on that strict mental diet and sensitive with myself today in this Queen of Cups. I feel like both of these cards showing up together, the King and the Queen, really shows a lot of, once again, uh, perseverance, transformation, um, loving choices for you, your partner, your loved ones in your life, and under you know, taking the time to understand yourself better, looking at the detail of you know what is really going on in your vortex what is important to you in regards to what you want in your love life what do you want to put in your cup spirit says spirit what else do we need to know about today and the not too distant future here in regards to our vortex the vortex collective message for everyone and anyone who comes to read this Timeless Tarot reading with me today. You know, if you see this, it's a huge sign letting you know, letting you know you need to come into yourself, you know, or you are coming into yourself, into this spiritual journey where, you know, it's, it's just all starting to make sense. says not those cards um, recovery time uh, maybe you spent a lot of time thinking about or putting time into making a change for yourself making a change for the better um, and spirit says it's time to recover and reap what you've sown in this four swords you know especially putting your time more into your stri strict mental diet especially about your love life you know this, this is such a loving card, the lovers. It's, it's like, is a spirit saying, you know, look, I bless your union you have with your friends, your loved ones, the ones that you care about. Um, 
you know, this might be even saying that there's somebody out there who plans on making you theirs forever. Maybe there's someone who regrets the way they, tr they treated you and, and they're wondering if you can forgive them. All right. Um, you know, but like I've been saying, it's, it's all going to make sense pretty soon. If it isn't already starting to come together in this reading that I'm sharing with you right now. Spirit, what is the energy behind this lover's card? What is the energy behind this lover's card? So we've got the Wheel of Fortune, another powerful card when it comes to your destiny. We've got the Devil here, and we also have the Seven of Swords. Maybe you feel that there are people that are being sneaky. Maybe you feel there are people that are, maybe they don't have your best interest. But no, turn your back on those feelings and emotions with this devil card here. You are stronger than that. This is Blanche from the Golden Girls. I love this devil card. It's the only devil card I keep in any of my decks um, because of the energy that she embodies, okay? Uh, she was um, loyal to her husband until the end, you know, but even though he was gone, she, you know, she made sure to keep having fun. She, she made sure to keep, you know, um, living her life, believing in the way that she believed, you know, life to be, which is we're sitting here to have fun. I feel like Blanche is telling you that you were sitting here to have your cheesecake and eat it too. This is your destiny to be here to have fun. And as the wheel turns, as the wheel of life turns, you know, it is just your destiny to see through that which does not serve you. Okay. And start serving yourself up with that which does serve you. Um, let's see if we can get a couple of direct messages from Spirit here. It's the mailman. Maybe you've been feeling like you're at a crossroad in your life. Okay, but don't worry. It really is going to all make sense so, so very soon here. So very soon. So Spirit, what kind of um, direct messages can you give us today? Okay, Spirit says not that card because it fell on the ground face down. Spirit is saying in these direct messages with these liminal space deck cards, kneel before no one. Okay? Once again, staying on your pedestal, staying in your power, sticking up for what you believe in, turning your back on timelines and situations that don't serve you. Spirit says aggressively hydrate, drink a lot of water, parasitism. I hope I'm saying this right, but I feel like this might have something to do with some twin flame energy, soulmate energy. Um, you know, that could be a parent, a family, a friend member, a loved one, even a spirit guide, okay? But enough is a feast. Enough is a feast. So which wolf are you feeding inside of you? The good one or the bad? Ask yourself. I'm asking you to follow your intuition on this one. Because I'm telling you, this is all going to make sense pretty soon. If it does not already, this reading very, very well may have to do with your twin flame or, you know, even being in a dark night of the soul kind of spiritual journey. Just remember, nothing has a meaning until you give it a meaning, not even this reading. <laughs> but what tarot cards can do for you is give you an idea of what you need to know help you make sense of things. While cards can't do it for you, they can tell you and give you the advice that you need to know um, to help you make life decisions that will help you in the long run. So once again, ask yourself, what are you feeding yourself? Because enough is a feast. Make sure that feast that you're feeding yourself with your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions about what you want. Ambition, happiness and fun that which serves you in your destiny with this Wheel of Fortune, you can have it all. So keep me updated. Um, please leave a comment. 
Uh, if this doesn't resonate, then just take what does and leave the rest behind. Maybe it will resonate tomorrow. Maybe it will resonate in a week, a month. Okay? Energy changes all the time. So please leave me a comment. Please like the video. Um, please subscribe. And make sure you get your name in the Magic Greek Hat. See if you can win the free in-depth tarot card reading that I give out once a month. I'll announce that on June 1st. Everything you need to know is in the description below and at the bottom in regards to the contest. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate your likes, your subs, your comments, and um, your donations and all your love. Have a good night. Have a good day. Love and light bright. Talk to you soon.